So all real structures are three-dimensional structures. They can be obtained by stacking two-dimensional layers one above the other. So three-dimensional close packing from two-dimensional square close packed layers. This is the one I'm going to discuss on the close packing in three-dimension topic. While placing the second square close packed layer above the first. We follow the same rule that was followed when one row was placed adjacent to each other. The second layer is placed over the first layer such that the sphere of the upper layer are exactly above these of the first layer. Here is a simple cubic layer lattice formed by AAA arrangements. If this arrangement spheres of both the layers are perfectly aligned, horizontally as well as vertically. Similarly, we may place more layers one above the other if the arrangement of sphere in the first layer is called A type. All the layers have the same arrangements. Thus, the lattice has A A A type pattern. The lattice thus generated is a simple cubic lattice and its unit cell is the primitive cubic unit cell. So let's move on to the three dimensional close packing from two dimensional hexagonal close packed layers. You are able to see in the mid of a two it is placed. So three dimensional close pack structure can be generated by placing layers one over the other. So placing second layer over the first layer, let us take a two dimensional hexagonal close packed layer A and place a similar layer above it such that the spheres of the second layer are placed in the depression of the first layer. Since the sphere of the second layer or two layers are aligned differently, let us call the second layer as B. It can be observed that not all the triangular voids of the first layer are covered by the spheres of the second layer. This gives rise to different arrangements. Whenever a sphere of the second layer is above the void of the first layer, a tetrahedral void is formed. These voids are called as a tetrahedral voids. Because a tetrahedron is formed when the center of these four squares are joined. They have been marked as T. You can see the T here. This is called tetrahedral void and this is called octahedral void. Placing the second layer over the first layer. This is tetrahedral hole and this is octahedral hole. One such void I have been shown separately which is depicted here. This is how. At other places at the triangular whites in the second layer are above the triangular whites in the first layer and the triangular shape of these do not overlap. One of them has the apex of the triangle which is pointing upwards and the other one is pointing downwards. This is downwards and this one is upwards. These voids have been marked as O which is depicted here. This is the one. Such voids are surrounded by six spheres and they are called as octahedral voids or whole. The number of these types of voids depend on the number of close packed spheres. Let the number of close packed spheres be n, then the number of octahedral voids generated is n. 
and the number of tetrahedral voids generated is 2n. When third layer is placed over the second, there are two possibilities covering tetrahedral voids. You can see it here, that's awesome. It's covering octahedral voids. This is covering tetrahedral voids. So tetrahedral voids of the second layer may be covered by the spheres of the third layer. In this case, the spheres of the third layer are exactly aligned with those of the first layer. So this one is exactly aligned with this one. So covering tetrahedral voids, thus the pattern of spheres is repeated in alternate layers. This pattern is often written as A, B, A, B. This structure is called as hexa, hexagonal, close packed structure. This sort of arrangement of atoms is found in many metals like magnesium and zinc. I want to show you how the octahedral compounds are tightly packed. Now I'm trying to show one element which is linked. There are a lot of gaps available which can be filled with another element. This forms the mixture. You are able to see the gap it is filled by the another component or compound or element. This is how two things form a mixture or two things form a specific compound. On top of it, the original compound is placed and the gaps are once again filled by the other compound. This is how the overall mixing up of two different components happening or elements happening. I will take a small example of sodium and chloride. Sodium, chloride. Sodium, chloride. Sodium, obviously you should have chloride. Chloride. On top of it, you need sodium once again. That's good. What should be there here? It should be chloride. So this is an alternative way of merging up to form a closely packed component. I want to show you how closely the component is packed. You can't see even a single gap in between. Everything is compactly closed. This is how the structure of components or compounds are created. So the green color indicates sodium and the rose color indicates now it's chlorine. So sodium radius is equal to 0.414 which is of chlorine radius and sodium volume is approximately 0.0. So the third layer may be placed above the second layer in a manner so that its spheres cover the octahedral voids. This is called as covering octahedral voids. So this is how the arrangement is A, B, C. The pattern is different. When placed in this manner, the sphere of the third layer is not aligned with those of the either of the first or second layers. This arrangement is called as C type. This is the one. Only when fourth layer is placed, its spheres are aligned with those of the first layer. This pattern of layers is often written as A, B, C, A, B, C. It will go on. This structure is called as cubic close packed structure CCP or face centered cubic FCC structure. Metals such as copper and silver crystallizes or crystallizes in this nature. I would like to show you a 3D of how the closely packed crystal structure is. You are able to see the crystal structure will be having a small gaps. 
which can be filled by the other components considering sodium chloride na and cl can cover it this is how the crystals gaps are occupied by the other elements now slowly the gaps are filled up and you are able to see you can't find the gap this is how the crystal structure with the multiple molecules so gtech provides you a 3d of how the crystals are formed and the crystal structures are now let me try it out uh, with the other factors of uh, different structures of the crystal so i got a bottom one on top of it you got some 1 2 3 4 5 6 atoms six molecules followed by six molecules on top and both the edges are made up of one element a one molecule now i'm trying to slice it you are able to see it and it will show like how many atoms or molecules involved in coordination so this is nothing but the design of a face centered structure this is how the molecules are integrated to form a crystal structure so let's discuss on this sodium chloride sodium chloride is a white crystalline solid it got na plus and cl minus you are able to see the na plus and cl minus here as yellowish and greenish colors so if we talk about the structure probably it's a kind of a tetrahedral kind of a prism not a prism it's a kind of a tetrahedral structure you are able to see it so one sodium will be having surrounded by chlorine and one chlorine surrounded by sodium it's octahedral it's not tetrahedral it's octahedral structure this is how the structure of sodium chloride a